no wrong way to play with paper. And I'm going to go over this month's collection obsession collection that I'm going to go over. I had to think about that. Okay, so every month, the Crafty Lower No Spin group my crafty friend Scylla and a bunch of my other scrappy friends create content called Collection Obsession. And what that is, is where we pick a collection and we play with it the entire month. So once a week, each content creator will, um, collaborate or however you like to um, say it, will post um, some kind of thing that they have done with that collection. It, usually it's a layout, but it could be a card. It could be um, making embellishments. It could be journaling. It could be a lot of different things. We all use a different collection. And so you will see what each person does with that collection at least once a week. So that is what we're doing this year. I am using my Kiwi Lane kit clubs that I had um, been receiving to decide if I want to re- subscribe to that subscription. So far, I'm still on the fence. I'm, I'm, I haven't made up my mind, but I still have a few months to go. We got all the way till December. So I'm gonna show you the March kit, and then I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna try to make five page kits for 30 Days of Sketches to use Kiwi Lane, because I'm going to combine Collections Obsession and the 30 Days of Sketches. And let's just see what we got. Let's start there. So this one is March. It says, grow where you are planted. It's gonna have a garden theme, obviously. Now remember, when you get your stencils, you can scan this with your phone and you can, um, it'll give you layout ideas. So we could do that, but I'm using sketches. So I doubt I'll do that this month, but I have done it many times in the past. It came with this beautiful doily. Look at that gorgeous doily, isn't that nice? Um, it's a wood grain on one side and it is that beautiful, mm, I wanna say like a blue teal, right? That's really pretty. Then these are the stencils, because every month you get stencils. Um, I don't know if you can buy these a la carte or not. I don't. Um, but this is a vine. Let's see, this one's a watering can, some sprigs of grass, and a clover. Um, so there are these ones here. Okay, and that's what comes in the kit. And then it, it suggests other ones to you. This is called the Blossom Accessory 9211. And this one's called the Streamers Fun Border, which is 9259. I kind of like the ticket, but we can make that ourselves, right? Okay, so there are the stencils for this month. Now I may use some of them, I may not. We'll just see how it goes. Then every kit comes with some little, basically they're cut aparts. They're just not on a sheet of paper. Um, some of them are journaling cards like that one there. I'm lucky to have you. How cute is that? Um, that one says grow wild. Ooh, I like that wreath. Um, another journaling card. It is kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I like the journaling cards a lot. Um, plant and love. Escape. Sometimes I want to do that. <laughs> and there's that one. And so... These are, looks like four by fours. You get a couple of those and you get some four by sixes, okay? And there's all of those. I'm not gonna sit here and read each one. If we use them, I usually read them, okay? So those come in the kit and we will set those with the doily. Then here's the papers, okay? Now I believe each kit is designed to give you enough papers to make three two-page layouts. That's how I understand it. Don't quote me, I could have that wrong. But that's, that's how I understand it. All right, so there is the B side of that one. And a couple of them we get doubles, we get two. That is a gorgeous green, look at that green. This is, I, I, uh, you guys know me and mustard yellow. And you guys wanna know what the through the rainbow color is this month? Mustard, yeah, but I'm gonna do it. I could probably, that's why I wanna make five page kits because this has a lot of that in it, like that color, so I'm thinking I could use that. And stay on track. Plus, use up this kit. Oh, look at that brick. I can't wait to get to that one. Okay, there's that one. And there's two of this one here. It's a pretty teal. Here's the A side. There's another mustard. Different form of mustard. <laughs> Ooh, we got two bricks. That's awesome. Oh, I like that. That's a cool page. And the B side. Oh, it's another brick. It's a light colored brick. I could just buy a whole pack of paper of this one. And Kiwi Lane, listen. It is quality paper. I am telling you, I, I'm almost tempted just to get the kit to get the papers because they're unique to only Kiwi Lane 
and they are quality paper. They're thick. They're not Cardabella thick, but they are quality papers for sure. All right, so let me do this. I wasn't gonna make page kits, but then I thought I have to make page kits because I'm gonna do it with 30 Days of Sketches as well. So, I'm trying to make my life easier. <laughs> so let me go and try to make five page kits. I'll come back and I'll show you the page kits. Be right back. All right, you guys, so I got five page kits out, but I have to apologize. I was wrong that through the rainbow is wood grain this in March. So yeah, I don't know what happened. But I went ahead and made a page kit for mustard because that's going to be April. And y'all, this is not my favorite color. And so I'm going to just keep this as a page kit to use for next month for Through the Rainbow because you know I probably won't have any other mustard. So that's what I'm gonna do. That so I did make five page kits, but this one won't be used in this month's collection obsession. All right, so there's that one. Then, this is day four of the 30 days of sketches. Again, I'm co I'm combining 30 days of sketches and collections obsessions into one video. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I want you guys to remember, pull in your scraps, okay? Pull them in, don't be afraid to use them. It's totally okay. These are of us. Um, our California trip is the same trip as the beach trip, but the kids and my husband and my father-in-law were doing go-karts. They had a good time. That's why I kind of like this scallop. Um, and I think this will be lots of fun. I added in this dark, but it also has a stripe. If I need something lighter, I will pull in the day that I go to make the base, I will pull in an ivory. I think an ivory would look really good with this. So just in case, I will put an ivory in there. All right, so that's day four of 30 Days of Sketches and my first collections obsession kit with the Kiwi Lane this month. Then this is day 11. These are photos of me and Junior while he was at the doctor. I know this is not in focus. I don't care. I have told you guys many times, it's still memories. I'm in focus, but he was probably moving around. <laughs> this was back in the day when cameras were just getting good. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap it anyway. I don't care. Now this is that brick paper. This is the light side, and this is a teal, and I think it matches his shirt perfect. You can do collection kits any way you want. If you want to go off of a sketch and do it that way, which I'm kind of doing both sketches and photos. I'm sort of matching up my photos to papers that I like. Mm, it doesn't have to be perfect for me. And I'm going off the sketch and kind of estimating how many pieces of paper I will need for 30 days of sketches. Now, Christy has not released the sketches yet that I know of. Maybe by the time this video comes out, she will, but um, that's what I am doing, okay? You can just take a collection I made page kits with it. I will tell you, I do page kits when I'm going in blind and not with a sketch. I usually put three to four pieces of paper in every kit and then that's it. I find photos to go with them and I make them that way. Some people put embellishments. I don't since I started filming, but I used to. Do whatever works best for you. There's no wrong way. Okay, here's the next one. It's day 19 and here I am with a bunch more scraps and one piece of paper from this month. This is actually, I believe, from the January um, collections obsession. Yeah, it's from the January. It was in my scraps um, where I keep my bigger scraps. So, yeah, this one here, I think it's a Kiwi Lane too, to be honest. I don't remember if it's from last month or January, but there that is. And then I had two yellow, and the reason is is because I'm going to do this wreath. I used to make these mesh wreaths every holiday. The problem is they don't hold up to the wind very well or the sun. They get very brittle, but they are fun and they are gorgeous. Gorgeous. I've made several of these. So this will be kind of a crafty layout. Last but not least, I have day 26 of my daughter, Miss Jessica, but she has not given me permission, so I'm going to cover her beautiful face and you see it is going to be like in the Montana mountains um she went on a little road trip um I'll have to look this up I don't know if this is in Washington where she lives or in Montana where we're from but um I picked these two she loves green and purples and then this brick just matched her boots really well so I like that and those these are the two papers for that okay um so that will be day 26 okay that is the page kits for the collections obsession that I'm going to combine with 30 days of sketches. 
make sure you check out Crafty Low or No Spin, where the collections obsession um, hop is every month. Amazing, amazing inspiration over there. You do not have to be a YouTube creator to be inspired. That's what Facebook is all about. Um, and I'll put the links below for everyone else because people are going to start sharing what collection they are using this coming month. With that said, I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so, so much. I have so much coming up in March. If you are a member of Ginger's Corner on Facebook, I made a whole list. We have so many giveaways coming up. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am. So I'm a little bit ahead. With that said, you never know. It could be day by day. <laughs> you guys have a very blessed day. And I'll see you tomorrow or later today with a few more Page Kids video. All right. Bye-bye.